<laughs> Welcome back to Dinger City. Season 8, Week 6, Game 6. And this is Spooky Field. Andrew, what do we got going on right now? Well, Jason won rock, paper, scissors using scissors, and he elects to pick second. Uh, Spencer picks DK. Jason picks PD Bro. Spencer picks Birdo Yoshi. Then Jason gives the Bowser pick. Spencer picks Pink Menace and Boner. Uh, Jason picks Boo. Spencer picks Toadsworth KB. Jason picks Madge. Spencer picks Waluigi and Green Noki. And then uh, Jason picks the rest. Ooh. Now we see a Birdo BJ. Team yeah, Captain. BJ is surprising. Yeah. I don't really respect his star hit. What do you do? You? Uh, I mean, Jason has Mario. Jason has Yoshi. Jason has Wario. Are you don't have Yoshi? Doesn't have Yoshi. He's got. I would definitely do Wario instead. Yeah, I would do either Mario or Wario over BJ. Yeah, just it's, because uh, at least with Mario, it has chance to bobble. Yeah, he he tried the uh, the BJ ball against me in another game. Yeah, no worry. No 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 ships are sailing. No ships are sailing. Oh, wow. nice catch! Wow, what a good catch on that beautiful nutted warning track. I just <laughs> love a good nutted warning track. I love you? nuts in general. You do? I do. That's a, a cringe hit. Don't like that one. <laughs> Don't like that. Don't I think like he was going for the five-star dinger. Yeah. Weird. I, I believe uh, Spencer just found out. That, or No, this is this is Jason. This is Jason. Jason hey. just found out the same thing I did a few games ago, that uh, charging with a star hitter does not give you a star hit unless you're a captain. Yeah. Oh, no, he knew. I'm, he's just he's just throwing. He wants One the five-star. Five five-star dinger into a chem boomerang bro now we've been seeing nick do a lot of fire goat stuff yeah right i think um, even him would admit even he would admit that boomerang bro is probably the best bro i think that fire bro as a charge swinger probably has the highest average but i think that boomerang bro if you're using him in the spot you're supposed to which is you can use him as a single sitter not even a star hitter yeah a bit of a I dk think, type deal yeah and that's an out Quick, easy out <laughs> Uh, zeros all across the board. Yeah, I, I think I think there's three hitters in this game that are heavies that should be used not just always as heavies. And I think it's DK, because he has a star, obviously. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's Boomerang, bro, because you can land easy singles like Boo, uh -huh. and people don't do it. And then there's also KB, which, the again, it's it's it lands. And I think there's a lot of times where if there's no outs and there's no one on base, I might just go for the single. I think um, so, too. Uh, locks my opponent out of getting DK. a star. Yeah. yeah. With any of them. I mean, granted, you always want to go for the homer, but you know, you know what? You want to lowers runs, outs. Your yeah. run expectancy is lower and you have an out. Have a man on first or second base because it can land for a double. Um, you could score more runs because they have to maneuver around it. It makes you have to use star, star, star hits with other characters. So it's like if there's one out, there's no one on base. I'm not going to use a Noki star. Boom, remember on second base, no outs. I might use that star. Mm -hmm. Make it first and third. Who knows? Baseball, especially Mario baseball, you, you really get a lot of value from doing math on the fly yes. on where to spend your stars. Yes. and Because there's a lot of factors. There's there's strikes, there's balls, there's outs, there's inning count, there's how many stars you have. Yes. There's who's, what character's up, what character's in the field. And knowing what type of bat to do is just as important as being good on the bat. Yeah, I'll say honestly for me, when it comes to me hitting, I, j I think I... I don't want to say I try six or seven out of those innings. There's two. There, there's a lot of times. There's two or three innings where I'm just like, I'm just trying to get a read on him. And mm -hmm. if he throws it where he's throwing it, I get a read on him, and I can adjust and you know adjust accordingly. But there's times I have, I have like a paratrooper up first, and there's no one on base, and I have three stars. I'm not using a star. No, yeah. Like you know, I'm not. I'm not going for him. It. It's not the inning to go for. It. But then the other thing is, all right. Well, what if I told you it's the bottom of the ninth? That changes things. Then I use it. Yeah. And, you know, the things, too, is that, like, if I have three stars, my opponent has five stars, mm -hmm. right? I don't want to get on first base. It locks me out from getting stars. So so you're saying you might want to bat people out, even though there's no outs. You might want to bat people out just because you know that if you I need five stars or you want five stars to get more runs across. So if you notice my lineups, a lot of times I'll do, like, a paratrooper into a Luigi, into like a Noki, mm -hmm. and then maybe into, if I don't have Bowser, maybe into like a Toads with the bottom of my lineup. Okay. If I have three stars and I have Paratroopa and then a, a non-star hitter behind, that's a great play. Um, 
a lot of times I'll I'll just try if I'm just gauging where he's throwing it. Because a lot of times if you get out, if I swing into an out, a lot of times the pitcher's going to say, oh, I threw this ball here last time. He got out. That's a great hit. And uh, I don't. I think anyone but BJ makes that play. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, no, a lot of times it's like if you get on first base, you're locking yourself in stars. And if I'm down by two stars and it's like the fifth inning or fourth inning and it's, it's a close game, why do I care if I get on first base or paratrooper with an Luigi Noki? Because then I have to use a star hit with Noki. Noki stars very double play prone. Like, I only want to use that star if there's guys on base. Yeah. And it's just, again, at the end of the day, it's like, then if I use that star, I go down to two. I, I very much like putting star hitters third and ninth in my lineup yep. because at third, during the first inning, you can star hit only if there's someone on base. Yep. And then at the ninth, you can, uh, frequently your ninth hitter is either your last hitter or your leadoff hitter. Yep. So you can use a star if he's the leadoff. Oh, BJ, the LVP right now, not making plays. But we're having, a oh, wow. I remember Joe Stimmel told me one time, you don't want to put your worst hitter ninth, you want to put him eighth. Because yes. then your worst hitter might be your leadoff, which is why it's so good for it to be a star hitter. Yes. Because he's either your worst or your best. Yeah, that's why I like putting Bones. I used to love putting Bones um, or Noki ninth because I had the option to use a star. Mm -hmm. I, I'm comfortable enough with a singles bat to where I can advance the lineup into like a heavy or a Bowser or a, a Boomer. Um, because at the bottom of the lineup, a lot of times you don't have any heavies. So you're only getting singles unless you're using stars. So you really want to roll that lineup out to a Bowser's now a four hitter. Because if you can get two guys on, first and second, you have two outs. Bowser could just clear the bases with one swing. And having a star hitter who you can feel comfortable saying, I'm going to get a nice single out of, I think it's I think it's a good thing. And then at the same time, too, is like you can plan around it. You know you know the lineup that's going to happen. Like, you, you, you don't have to use it. You can use allocate stars to Mario earlier in the lineup. So, you know, I just think we're going to see a lot more to come. If we end up doing something with Bowser with mm -hmm. Captain, I think we're yeah, gonna because stay. putting in you're basically adding another star hitter into the ecosystem every game, and they're probably the best star hitter in the game most yeah. of the time. Yeah, and you know, you know, it's funny. You know who we saw going in? I would say the more the end of season seven, who we saw pretty much not getting picked anymore. Uh, it was Noki. Yeah, because Noki everyone is was the, saying, the first star hitter to, to leave. And now almost everyone's taking Noki because your opponent is, with the Bowser rule, your opponent's locking you out. They don't want to have, they can't have, they're not going to have Madge. They're not going to have Bones. And they're not going to have Noki with their captain. And then maybe, like, there's just too many star hitters to go around. Plus, you want a wall jumper. So it's like, Noki is almost always, it seems like, on the Bowser team. Mm -hmm. Because they're just getting that last star hitter that no one wants. But, you know, Noki, again, at the bottom of a lineup into a, what? Wow. Is, is showing value because I think you can really roll that lineup back into the top and, um, and you know, just use Bowser as a heavy or get Bowser walked in and hit with your captain. But we're going to have first and second up with two outs. We're charging with Kem. I think wow. another big reason you're seeing Noki every game this season is because you're just seeing the top meta characters solidify a lot more as people get better. Yep. You're seeing people are not... Uh, letting Wario go. They're not letting Green Noki go. Yep. There, it used to be like five characters were a flex spot every game. Now it's more like two to three, where Waluigi, BJ, Toad, they, they're they're a lot rarer. Yeah, a lot more rare. And I think there's one character who I, I'm going to honestly say, I don't think should ever get picked. It's Toad. I don't, it's Toad. <laughs> I don't think there's any utility. Well, I'm going to say it's Diddy Kong, so. At least Diddy can pitch. <laughs> at least Diddy can pitch. Toad can't do anything in the field. Yeah, that's true. I, I only pick him in the specific scenario where I need someone to play a, wow. a position I don't care about and all the better batters are picked. Yeah. He's always the worst bat and the worst fielder on my team, but I think that's still pickable. Mm -hmm. And this is a situation where I, I'd really like righty PD. Yeah, really? Yeah, because Waluigi is really easy. Left-handed left pitchers are easy to jam lefties, and... I think that with Petey, you want to hit the ball on the end of the bat. Mm -hmm. And when the ball is going from right to left, it just seems, to me, it always seems hard because it just seems harder it's to It's a timing gauge. thing, it's right? It's a timing thing, yeah. And the thing is, the difference between, like, example, Boomer and KB are right handed, most pitchers are lefty. It's kind of hard to pull a ball that's already going in that direction, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't usually, like, I, I, you know, with, the thing with DK is, is that you can't pitch the same way to Petey as you do with DK. 
Because DK, if you throw the ball off the plate, you can push it. You don't have to even charge swing. Mm -hmm. So, like, the trajectory is just completely... Like, I, DK, if the ball is off the plate with DK, like, and you're late on it, you know, that's a good thing if you're pushing it. But DK has center it, trajectory, yeah. right? Yeah that's, yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's just... I just think lefty on lefty is so hard unless you're Bowser. Yeah, a little bit of a misinput. I think you wanted to charge there. Yeah. For whatever reason. <laughs> Weird pitch. Yeah, that, that seems like a really far ball. Yeah, why is he charging? I've also noticed a lot of players, they're they're better at hitting balls that are slightly balls. A lot of the time it would be like, if a ball is slightly over the plate, you'd want to recognize it. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, people are just hitting that. So if you want a batter to swing through something on an outside pitch, it needs to be a very far ball. Yeah. And the thing is, is that you really, oh my. Like that one was a ball that he got a massive piece of. Yeah, yeah I, I, I really think that um, if there's anything that's coming away from this season, I'm going to say it. I think PM might be a top 10 player in this top game. Top 10, huh? Yeah. Um, or I, be, 11. I think it's, it's pushing. It's, it, it could push. It's reasonable to say that he's very high in value, but I think he does something too similar to Wario to warrant an early draft pick. So, like, that might be a situation where you're taking a top 10, top 15 character, like, last. Yeah. I would rather pitch to a better Toadsworth hitter than a better PM hitter. Because better PM hitter gets home runs? Yeah. And has laser. I feel like uh, I've, I've seen PM hit home runs, obviously, but like it's like a rarity for Toadworth, Toadsworth to even get out. True. Yeah. I, I they, they definitely do different things, which is why I think PM is never going to be too far above Toadsworth because Toadsworth does something that both not many other characters do, and you can never get enough of on your team, right? Yeah. If your team is full of power hitters, then, you know, you're never going to have anyone on base. Yeah. But if your team is full of Toadsworths, you're just going to keep scoring over and over. Yeah. And I'm going to say a hot take right now that no one's going to like. I'm not. I'm probably going to hate it. PM is better than PD Piranha. Whoa. Boo. Boo. <laughs> uh, Spencer agrees. PM is better than PD Piranha. Um... I think he he rewards you more for poor contact than Petey. Um, I think that he has a longer bat. It's it's way harder. To, it's way it's harder also, to pitch to. Also, true. Petey just has more power. Um, that that's where I'll disagree with you. Petey. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. Petey has more power. Yeah, that's Petey's where I'll agree power, with yeah, you. Okay, yeah, okay. Petey has more power. Um, you know, slap hit wise, P PM probably PM, has a better P slap. PM is a better slap hit too. Um, and I take better PM in the, in the field. field. Yeah. Over, over, like, is PD better at hitting home runs? Yeah, but like, PD over season seven hit like two forty. Yeah, it's he was uh, and that's the what, worst of the power hitters. And, and that's with everyone, ha and that's with PD being in the meta for years, and PD hitting two forty. Mm -hmm. You know, like Toadsworth and Madge have been in the meta for years, and Toadsworth we don't use the star. Toadsworth the five hundred. You go look at every other heavy. Every heavy hitter hits better than PD. PD is the worst average wise of all the heavies, and I think with P with with PM. You're getting them way later. Yeah. Way sure. later. Like, way later. I think I think with PD, you you have to rely on... I think with PD... You, I genuinely think you should not be giving a PD home runs. I think a lot of time it's on mm. the, the pitcher who's messing up, throwing too really? much plays. Because yeah. he can hit a home run off of an inside ball. Right. And, and uh, he can hit a home run off of the same balls that he can get walked on. So I don't see how the pitcher really has an option to not let up home runs on PD. P PM has, he's the next closest thing to Bowser, as in, based off of his bat, because of the length it is, yes, he makes contact on inside pitches, which is a, which is a problem. But if you're really, tr if you're trying to jam P, if you're trying to jam PM, or throw it off the plate to where you are generating bad contact, if you're good enough as a hitter, you can take it as a ball. With PD Piranha swing, like it's just the timing is so much more difficult than it is a PD. Yeah, it is PM. a timing problem. It's way but difficult. There's a big. I think the biggest problem with PM as opposed to PD is that we saw he got really good contact on a ripped ball and it just didn't go out. Right. Like it, I, if if PD got equally good contact, it would definitely be a home run. Yeah. Oh. And you know, but PM catches that ball now, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He catches it. 
Wow, we're going to have a leadoff Birdo on into a KB. Wow, it's seventh with only one O. And this is a prime situation where I think Spencer's right here. I slap it. You need one run. You slap it. Uh, you know, at no outs, it's it's certainly reasonable, yeah. especially with four stars coming into a star hitter. Yep. Uh, however, I think I, I charge hit here because two Ooh. runs is, that could be the winning run. Could be. But, you know, we got to get on with Noki. Yeah, and then that Noki. synergy with PM. Yep. Uh, I think if you get on with Noki, you're you're extremely likely to bring Birdo to at least third on a sack fly oh, yeah. with PM. Ah, no. Tough swing. This is a close game. Yeah. Uh, draining his stars. You hate to see it. I wouldn't pitch here. You really? No. Uh, you, you would let, let Waluigi take this one? Yep. Hmm. I, yep. I think I, I would pitch here just because I don't want to advance his lineup very much because I think Bowser's on his team, right? No. No. Okay. Well, then maybe I, I would walk here. You just yeah, I hate walking people that aren't Bowser on a Bowser team because it just means Bowser's one closer, and that's right. where the real trouble begins. Yeah. I mean, you never want to see the line of turnover into Bowser, so you're forced to pitch to other guys, which is another thing which makes non-captain Bowser harder. Yeah, you're forced speaking, to pitch to your good captains. Yeah. Like, Especially because you don't want them getting on for free because they have to spend stars for it. Bowser, Bowser getting walked, his run expectancy is so much higher when he's not the captain. Which mm -hmm. makes it the fact that every pitter has to get pitched to because you don't want to see Bowser up again. Right. It's it's insanely hard. But we're going to... Honestly, I, I just get out. I get Bowser to lead off next inning. Uh, I get Bowser to lead off the star Yeah, chance. I was going to say, as the fielder here, you might want Madge on so you could walk Bowser at two outs. Yep, without a doubt. We're going to go into the top of the eighth inning with Waluigi up with a star chance. Uh, getting on right here could spell disaster. Because we now have two stars for Yoshi, which, I mean, honestly, it's a one-run game. Huh? His star hit hmm. lands. I You know, I, th I think with, with Bones following up, I don't use the stars. The thing with Bones is, is his star hit's very double play prone. Mm -hmm. And with Yoshi, I can, you can make this first and third. He's bunting. He's going to make it second. That's a great play. That's a I good think play. Advancing the runner. It's a good play. You're not going to get double played, and no. the star hit might bring him home. Yes. You just have to land this star. I think that's better than what either of us were thinking. I agree. We're taking Ooh, strike one. That, I he could have hit that. If you're, if you're Jason. Oh, he couldn't have hit that one. Yeah, you just got to drain that star. Jason oh, all right, just, looking at it. Jason just pitching like a god. Oh, look at it. I've swung at that one. I felt it in my I stomach. I do too. Whoa, that's a ball. And honestly, this isn't even that bad. Of, uh, this isn't even that bad. Oh, uh, he, he Double gets climb. the ball. It's exactly what, yep. But it's into Wario. Yep. And there, there was no force either, and he still got double played. Yep. And now we have two stars with Bowser up. I think, I think you have to pitch to him. Um, it's it's a one run game. Hmm. I don't. I, I'm okay I, with this being. I'm okay with this being two nothing. I, I'm not okay with this being three nothing or four nothing. Uh, if you get Bowser out, are you then walking, bro? Depends who's next, but I think I would. I think I would too. I think that might. I, weirdly enough, I know it sounds weird to pitch to Bowser and then walk, bro. But I think that might be the right play, because if you. No, maybe it's the wrong play. <laughs> maybe I do walk Bowser and then pitch to Bro. I mean, but this is even that terrible because it's the thing. Now you can the base is open. Yeah, I, I think walking is Bro is the right play. It was just, it was just you don't want to give up a home run. He didn't give up a home run. He didn't. And now we have a double play, per, double play. He's potential. gonna bullet ball against his better judgment. But he's and not that's gonna... a that's a sack. What about oh, you Birdo? can't get double played. Uh, Birdo can definitely suck that. Uh, I mean, the main problem I don't like BJ star hit is just because it, it gets caught a lot. <laughs> yeah, it does. I feel like it goes... You know what it is? I feel like BJ's at least doesn't go at a fielder. Mario's he, does. Mario's targets a fielder. That sounds like a... Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. That Ma sounds like a bit of a placebo thing because I no, feel like they would just have the same trajectories that they can get. Mario's, but when Mario's goes at a fielder... It, it gets bobbled. Mario's and Luigi's, I'm almost very positive, have a higher, this ball is going to go to this fielder over over, over the other stars. I, I, it, it really seems like you hit, hit, you hit the ball to center field, it goes right at the center fielder. Oh, you mean like an outfielder? Yeah, even an out, yeah, no matter what. It just always seems like it goes at a fielder, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I, it's that sounds a little weird. I, I don't know why that would really be, since they're really just both like straight balls. Uh... Uh, I think maybe we just haven't seen enough of them to the point where sampling bias is coming into play. True. Uh, or not sampling bias, but low sample size problem. Uh, and this is the last inning he has to score, and he doesn't score. And that well, this is a good game. Is the game. Very tight one.
Wow, uh, I hope you guys liked this commentary. We're talking a little, little in depth, not really much of the game. It was, a, it was, a, it was one, run, one run game. Yeah. Hope you guys liked it. Very pitcher's duel, and Jason's gonna take that nice W. And you know what? If you want to be so nice, um, you can join our Discord and talk to all of us in the Discord. At one of us, we'll talk. Yeah. We'll talk game. We'll talk. We'll talk Ocarina of Time. Oh, I'll talk Ocarina of Time all day. Yeah. And you know what? If you want to support us even more. Uh, the, there's a link to the Patreon down below. We have a 1, 5, 10, 15, and a very special tier. Everything that you see with our setup, this nutted version of the field, is all because of you guys. You have We have two face cams, and you know what? We have a lot more yet to come, and we'd love for you to support us and be a part of that so you could also be involved as well. Um, there's a lot, lot, lot of stuff coming. <laughs> um, please like, subscribe, and put notifications on by smashing that bell. It really helps our algorithm. Comment in this video. Just comment algorithm. If you, just comment it. It helps. Thank you guys so much. I am Dennis Schumer 11, a.k.a. Crit Den. I'm City Hall. And we are Dinger City and Dinger City, City out. out.